Hi, this is the Human Operating System Time. This channel is for education and technology only. Today, I'd like to share with you something extremely critical. And that is when learning and mastering a Chinese martial art or Qigong technology, how to make it effectively, efficiently, with quality and repeatability. So, in order to be able to uh, learn it effectively, efficiently, with quality and repeatability, meaning that we get solid result and uh, we can develop solid skill, then we need systematic, scientific, and verifiable. Well, the ancient Chinese, they do this, even though they don't use the, the term scientific, uh, systematic and verifiable. When one learn a qigong or a martial art in ancient China, it always come with process, process step, really clear, uh, very clear process steps, and be able to verify each process steps. That's how the ancient Chinese do it. So they have this process step called Kung Fa. Okay, that's the process step. And then they have the verifications method to see whether one carry out the process step and actually get result. So in today's language, it is just systematic, scientific, and verifiable. So systematic, scientific, verifiable are a must to be effective in mastering. Without this, forget about mastering. One couldn't even learn the basic. So without this, it is mission impossible. Okay, We can keep waiting, uh, wishing, hoping, Tomorrow we will get it, but that day never come. We can look around today. How many people practice Qigong or, or, or Chinese martial art, uh, keep doing the same thing again and again, and the day of really uh, learn it or master it never come. People have doing it for decades. That's wasting life and wasting money. So, in order to be scientific, systematic, and verifiable, we need tools. We need tools to be able to, to, to know what is going on, to be able to analyze things, uh, to be able to describe things in details. Otherwise, it is a wish, a wish that it never come true. So, tool number one, unavoidable tool number one, is the six core element. Six core element is the common denominator of Chinese martial art, qigong, healing art, meditation art. That's the six core elements. Okay? And uh, the six core element consists of the physical body, mind, breathing, energy, strength, or momentum. Or energy is called qi in Chinese, strength is jing. It consists of this. And because we know this, we know this six core element, we have this six core element, we have these tools, then we be able to know the full content of the art. Because we know the six core element, we know what is missing content. If there's a missing content, for example, if one study Qigong and martial art and one never talk about the develop of the uh, breathing, then one know there's trouble. If one practice martial arts and one do not know about momentum, then it's trouble. You practically cannot fight without knowing momentum, be, without be able to handle momentum. And we need the, the, the six core element because we need to know exactly the key details. We know missing details if that is a missing details. Why? Because in all those elements, within the element, there are details, different states. 
And if those states are not uh, revealed or addressed, then we know that that is missing details there. And also, with the sixth element, we know the degree must attain, or we know the outcome. So, without this sixth element, this unavoidable, uh, unavoidable tools, one really do not have a clue on what is going on in the big picture and in details. So that's how critical it is to really know, really experience what is the sixth core element, which is the common denominator of traditional Chinese martial arts, qigong and meditations and healing arts. That is the basic education, basic element we all need to know. And we'd be able to ask question, okay, you tell me this. So how about the breathing? Why is there no breathing content there? Okay, if there's a breathing content there, what is the details? Should I do a, a panting breathing or should I do a really long breathing? I need that details. And as for the breathing, what will I achieve or what will I attain if I practice it? Well, that is the degree need to be attained or must attain. It's like when people practice uh, breathing, when one get into the really deep breathing, one will get into the state that the entire body become like transparent. Yes, transparent. Okay? In the Chinese, ancient Chinese is called that one uh, actually uh, the, the body is like a, a vanish, okay? When one practice that, it's like uh, when, uh, practice the Buddhist, the Anapanasati uh, uh, meditations. The Anapanasati is the breathing meditation, right? So one's body like feel like vanish in the thin air. So, so one would need to know all this. Without knowing this, the, the full content, the big picture, and the details, and what one need to achieve, one practically don't know what one is uh, uh, supposed to do. So this is the unavoidable tools. We need the six elements to describe things. And uh, this is six element is in the uh, Wing Chun Art and Science book. This This book is describing or presenting the six core element in details. Now the second unavoidable tools is this H model where you map the ancient common denominator of traditional Chinese martial arts, Qigong, into today's sports science. Okay, this H model and that is uh, in the uh, Wing Chun Inception book. And further because the, the ancient uh, uh, Chinese martial art or Qigong being mapped into the, uh, the, the sports science, we can verify today with the technology. Okay. So, this is the unavoidable tools, number two. Because we know this, we have these tools, then we know these physiological states of the purpose. For example, if we want to do fighting, then we need to be able to handle the physiological state of a full accelerated impulse momentum handling. And we know that that is an anaerobic state. And we know that the heart rate zone, it is the zone 4, zone 5 of the maximum heart rate. And also, with this H model here, we know our position. Where are we in our body conditioning? Can we take it? How is our lactic threshold? That means lactic threshold is the endurance, okay? The, uh, the, the, the fatigue level. How, what is our fatigue level? We know our position. And also, we know 
where we are when we training. Are we training in this uh, lower zone for recovery? Or are we training in this fighting zone for full accelerated uh, impulse momentum handling? We need to know that. Otherwise, we really don't know what we are doing. And of course, this all can be verified now. Now, we also know our limitations. And we also be able to verify it. For example, if we know our VO2 max, which is in the aerobic uh, training, we know our limitations. And uh, we can verify with this thing. We can verify this. This is VO max 56 here, he says. So we know if we train this thing, we get into this like, physiological state uh, very clear with, uh, with the scientific number what, is, uh, what we can do or what is our limitations, what is our endurance, okay? So this is a, a unavoidable tools number two. If we don't have H model, we have no idea what type of uh, physiological state that that goal or that purpose needs if we want to fight we need to know the physiological state so that we can train for that we need to know our position so that we know that are we training or are we uh, in the state of recovery where we must not train because the body need to recover and also with the H model, we know our limitations. It's like uh, if we know our VO2 max, we know our lactate threshold, we know here on our fatigue level, we know here for our endurance. Only this way, we be able to handle the uh, Chinese martial art or Qigong technology. Only this way we can have a quality and repeatability result. Otherwise, how can we learn something? How can we master something? How can we handle something? So, so, so these are two tools. The six core element and the H model are unavoidable tools needed. One cannot just say, oh yeah, I watch a, a video, uh, then uh, I mimic that posture. Well, we don't know the content, we don't know the details, we don't know the degree, how we, we need to reach. We don't know the physiological state, we no, don't know where we are on our physiological state, and uh, we don't know our limitations. How is that going to develop anything at all? How is that that we can master anything at all. So this is critical. We today scientifically can, can, uh, can verify that unless we have the tools of six core element and the H model or the equivalent of this two, there's no way one can master or handling anything effectively. And it will only turn into mission impossible, wasting life, wasting time. For example, we keep talking about internal. So what is internal? Well, anybody will internal. So what is internal in here? Well, if you say really you have internal, that means you'll be able to handle the heart rate variability, the heart rate, the VO2 max, and the lactic threshold. That's internal. It's within your body. If you don't even have that handle, what is internal? Okay? It's so serious. Internal is not a, 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 just a term, a label for marketing. You want to ha handle internal, the ancient Chinese be able to handle this. If you practice properly the ancient Chinese Qigong or the, uh, uh, the, the, the martial art, you'll be able to handle this. 
even though the ancient Chinese doesn't have a uh, have have this gadget like today, they have the technology. Once we have the gadget, we can measure it. We can track it. We can monitor it. That's for sure. So this is to share with you today. Okay, don't take this lightly, and uh, because it is a a situation that whether we are wasting our life or we are learning things effectively and efficiently. So, if you need those two tools, get this book and this book. That is the simplest and most affordable way to get the best result disregard of what style of the Chinese martial art or Qigong you practice. If all this answer just know the full content, uh, details, and degree must attain, and physiological state, positions, and limitation. If all this cannot be answered, then it is really clear. One really simply doesn't have it. Period. So it is not that, hey, you know, this is the ancient Chinese secret. The Western science uh, do not know about it. No, there's no such thing. The Western science be able to verify it. That is the reality of today. So this is to share with you today.